Hi guys and welcome. This video is going to be talking about the 90 day business run incorporating the daily worksheet, task sheet. Okay, so I'm going to explain it a little bit as I go. I'm going to try to keep this brief so that it won't take up too much of your time to kind of hear the basics and then maybe we can meet back and discuss all of the details of that. Let me turn my light down just a little bit. I've got it a little bit too bright. Okay, so this is basically what they call in the industry a 90-day business run. And what it means is you're going to focus your attention and your energy on your business hard for a 90-day period to build momentum, to relaunch your business if you've been inconsistent with your business in the past, to take your business to a new level, to um, get yourself ready for the busiest time of our season, which is starting now, September through the first of the following year, is our busiest time. We're launching some new products in September. Um, this is August 2017. We have some amazing new lash products that have launched. So the time has never been better than now to really hit it hard. If you're wanting to grow your business and work this business as a business, then you need to put the time and effort into it. There's no secret as to how to build your business. Um, it is simple but it's not easy, I guess, is a good way to put it. The, the requirements and what you need to do to build your business and to grow your business, it's a simple strategy, but it takes some time and effort. So if you're ready to do that, I'm going to do it with you and let's hit the ground running. So I'm going to explain. It's called the 90 day business run. It basically is going to follow the daily tasks that are on this daily uh, task sheet and I've posted it in our files on our Team Lash Love page. You can print them out. It basically is one page for every day and so I'm going to print out a handful of these kind of as you get the hang of it and the habit of it. Like anything, it takes time to build, to build it as a muscle, to build it as a skill. But once you get the hang and the habit of it, it's going to be much easier to go through all the things on this page. It's going to keep you very organized. It's going to keep you consistent with your business, which is the number one thing I can say. If you're wanting to grow your business, you need to be consistent daily, every single day. If you take a break from your business for any period of time, it's like starting all over again with your business. You lose that consistency. Um, you lose the contacts with your customers. You lose the credibility with your customers, all of that kind of stuff. And so this is going to help you stay very, very consistent. Um, and in fact, there's a, um, a saying at the top, we become what we want to be by consistently being what we want to become each day. And I know that's kind of a roundabout way of saying it, but that is so true. And so the, um, so the first thing that you want to do is, sorry, I keep getting messages coming through. The first thing that you want to do is you want to build up a presence on your personal Facebook wall. And the only way to do that is by posting consistently on your Facebook wall every single day, six times a day. Um, that sounds like a lot for some of you that don't even post once a day, but I'm telling you not everybody sees all of your posts. This is going to be a much better way of kind of changing up the content because I either see a Facebook wall full of nothing that has anything to do with Unique or I see a Facebook wall that seems to have a lot to do with Unique and not a lot of other things. And your customers need to get to know you as a person. That's how they learn to trust you. That's how they relate to you. And so there's a strategy for doing this to build up your algorithms. And I can tell you I've been doing it for the last six or eight months maybe. And it definitely has boosted my um, interaction on my Facebook wall. I've gotten multiple new customers that have watched me for the last three years and have never purchased and all of a sudden they're starting to purchase things. So there's a lot of different reasons to do that. And so basically it's going to tell you uh, one of the things that you're going to do is post six times a day and you can check it off as you go and it'll tell you what to post because you don't want them to all be unique items. You don't want them to all be personal items. You want to intermix and intermingle those things so that they're seeing a little bit of everything on your Facebook wall. And so for example, you may do one motivational quote and I do find that if you can search up, you can look on Facebook groups for motivational quotes, you can look on Google for motivational quotes. You can do a funny quote, um, whatever kind of speaks to you and you do have to search around a little bit for it, but those are the number one things that other people will share and once they share them, then all of the people that they share them with also see what's on your wall. First and foremost though, your wall needs to be set to public. If you have an, uh, um, 
an issue with this, talk to me and I'll explain it to you. But that is an absolute must if you're going to do business on your Facebook wall um, and you're going to be in the network marketing business, your Facebook wall needs to be set to public. So if it's not, change that. If you have any issues, uh, message me and I can kind of explain to you how you can go around certain things. If you don't want some of your pictures, family pictures shown to everyone, there are ways to do that. But for the most part, most of your posts need to be set to public. That's the only way people can share your posts. That's the only way you're going to really grow your, your um, network in network marketing. Okay. The second post will be a product post and that, and that you don't have to do these in any specific, uh, specific order. It's just, this is the breakdown for the day. Six posts, one motivational quote or funny meme, um, one product post, and that can be anything except for I don't want to see just stock corporate images. If you're going to show like an image of the new splurge cream shadow that came out today, then put your face in a collage. You can use word swag. You can use Rona. You can use, um, Oh gosh, I'm trying to think some of the other ones off the top of my head. There's lots of different, um, apps that you can download on your phone to make uh, half, you know, half pictures, um, selfies, videos, anything like that. Make sure your face and your image is in all of your pictures so that it's not just a graphic that you're posting. Millions, thousands of people are posting those same graphics and people just will scroll right past. If it's a picture of you wearing the products, people will stop their scroll and take a look at that. So that's just, um, another little, uh, tidbit. Okay. So that's the second post, motivational post, product post, Pick a uh, family post, picture of your pet, um, what you did for the day. Today, everything's the eclipse. And so something that um, talks about something that you've done as a family or as a person. If you went on a nice long run, if you um, took your kids to their first day of school and you were able to be home with them, that kind of hits a couple of different um, posts by being able to do that. Um, the other one is kind of a lifestyle post. And that's what I was talking about with being able to be home and take your kids to school. That's kind of a lifestyle post as well because you're able to do that maybe because you're at home working your at-home business. Um, it could be that you're able to take your husband out for a nice dinner because because of unique or, and you don't even have to say because of unique, it's going to be implied that that's what you're talking about when you talk about that. If you're able to go on a Disney vacation because you've saved your, um, your proceeds for, for that year, whatever it is, those kinds of posts. Um, and then the other one is an engagement post and that's where you want to ask a question and you want to get people to, to buy back and forth for an answer. It might be, uh, what looks better, a, a nude lip or a red lip on me. Um, which vacation would be better, a trip here or a trip there, um, what dinner might be better, this or that. So anything that you can ask a question, you can look those kinds of things up, um, kind of what the um, you know top questions are. You can watch any of the other leaders to kind of see how they do that, but you want to get that interaction going back and forth. And when they respond to you, I always respond back in the comments something, oh, that sounds great, um, oh, thanks for the input, Something that gets that communication going back and forth because that bumps up your algorithms with that particular person. And then the last post of your six posts per day spread out throughout the day. Don't post all six of them in the morning, but spread them out so you're hitting people when they're most likely to be on Facebook. Would be some kind of a food, a recipe, a fitness, um, any other just kind of maybe daily thing that's going on. The eclipse would be a good one to do right now because that's going on. So those are your six posts a day that you're going to do on your Facebook wall. And that's right here. You can check them off as you do it. Um, then you're going to have, they, they say three posts on Instagram. If you do another medium, I would say at least post once a day on that other one. Um, if you have a business page, post on that. You're going to post in your VIP group at least once a day and make it, um, educational for them, whether it be a new product that you're explaining or um, a new eyeshadow look that you tried or um, even ask them some of the things that they would like to see. If they want to see a certain eyeshadow technique, um, it'd be great if you could get online and do it. And even if you have to Google how to do a smoky eye or how to do a winged eyeliner, 
um, make yourself the expert and then go ahead and post that in your group. One of your six times a day, two can be um, going live. That bumps up your algorithms too. And it doesn't even necessarily have to just be about unique or makeup. You could go live when you're sitting out at the pool with your kids. You could go live if you're going to an event in town, a concert. Um, that is kind of better almost to do that because then they check in and they don't just automatically assume you're going to be talking about one particular subject. Okay, and then you're going to want to go in and comment on 20 friends posts. And I try to pick non-unique presenters because of, and I do comment on pre unique presenters, but I don't count that as my 20. I try to pick people that I haven't seen on my wall for a while or I haven't had communication with for a while. And it could be something as simple as... Um, um, you know, their son is going off to his first day of kindergarten and you could just say, I hope he has a wonderful year or, oh my gosh, he's so cute. I can't believe it's already, he's already in kindergarten. Simple, simple, simple. It doesn't have to be difficult. Um, birthday messages. That's another way to do it. Leave a little voicemail saying happy birthday. It takes less time than typing it out and people are interested. They'll listen to that because it's, it's novel. They get a ton of happy birthdays on their wall, but if you send them a private message wishing them a happy birthday or you, um, um, send them a voice message, they're going to be more likely to remember that. Um, and then I message I go back three posts and I message the people, especially on my, my unique posts, I message the people that have liked or commented on my business posts about unique. And I just, just send something simple like, thank you so much for um, liking my post. That really helps my business grow. I really appreciate that, period. End of story, hit send, awesome, off it goes. And then that that's your kind of your thank yous and your messages down here, okay? And then if you want to send out a monthly customer letter, you can do that. That's extra. If you want to make some videos in your spare time to where you have a video showing how to put on the new Epic Mascara, maybe showing the difference between putting on Epic and then adding 3D Fiber Mascara, that's a great one to have right now. Um, um, an intro video for an event or a thank you video for an event, you can kind of spend some time doing that if you have time. If you have any current parties going on, then you need to post in those two to three times a day and all of your current parties. Um, and then you're going to go in, and this is best, I think, to do in the evening. Send your messages asking for things from customers in the evening. That way, it's either the first thing they see in the morning or they're on their computer in the evening after their day. You know, if you send it at lunchtime, they may forget about it. They may look at it really quick and then forget to get back to you. Sorry, dog's barking. Um, but ask five customers to host an online event for you every day. You're going to do this. Um, and don't be concerned about what the answer is or what the results are. Just ask five people every day. Message five people. Share the opportunity with them. Don't be concerned about what the um, outcome is going to be of that. Hey, guys. Shh, shh, shh. Just do it. The more you do it, the more likely you are going to have somebody to say yes to an event or yes to uh, the opportunity or ask you for more information. Um, add five new friends on Facebook every single day. And this one is can be a little bit more challenging, but you can add the people that have liked your posts in your VIP group, on your personal business page, on your page, your Facebook page, um, and you just add them as a friend, send a little message saying, hey, um, would love to reconnect. Um, and then you do your customer follow-up. That's really, really important as well. So, and it gives you a breakdown of how to follow up with them. Follow up two days after they place the order, and it might even be to say, hey, um, your order is processing. It should ship within the next couple days. Um, and then I usually will follow up when their order ships because you get that email anyway. And again, it's just good customer service. It's just good uh, building a relationship with that customer. They're going to buy from you as a person um, before they buy the actual product. They're going to buy because they like you as a person or they like the way you're treating them as a customer. And so I will follow up and say, hey, your order shipped. Can't wait for you to get it. I'll be checking back in with you um, a few days after you get the order. And then again, you follow up after they get the order. Um, they say two weeks. I don't usually wait two weeks, maybe a week or so. And I'll just, you know, with all the mascaras that have been sent out for me lately, um, I just chose a night where I just sat down and, and sent out some little PMs. Hey, just checking in to see if you've had a chance to try 
the new Epic Mascara. I wanted to get your feedback. Okay, so then and then all the feedback has been amazing. That again is a great way to build um, customer rapport. Um, and if it wasn't amazing, then I would take care of whatever the issue is that they're having to make sure that I keep that relationship with the customer. Um, when I did that and sat down, I think everybody I got back amazing results. I don't think I got anybody that was not happy with it. In fact, I got three people that wanted an extra one to keep in a gym bag, to give to a friend, to give to a daughter. So it actually got me three or four new sales just from following up and asking them how they liked it. So there's kind of a lot of different reasons for doing that. And then two months in, you can follow up again. Just go back in your Facebook, um, in your uh back office and go under customers scroll back to like so now is August I would scroll back to maybe June and you can follow up with all those customers look and see what they ordered maybe they need a refill on their 3d fiber maybe they need um, maybe they might want to add a concealer because they got the foundation so kind of just be thinking and then you just send simple little PMs to people don't make it complicated um, one or two lines if you need any help with kind of verbiage on how to do that be yourself for First and foremost um, but don't make it complicated and don't don't overthink it just send those messages click they're done um, and then sh do some shout outs if you have team members on your team then do it do one or two shout outs um, every day with your team members that helps keep the morale going with the team people love to be um, recognized for doing a good job and it can be for anything it doesn't have to be just for sales it can be that they took a risk and went live and that was scary and you knew it was scary for them let's shout them out for that um, if they're close to reaching a promotion you can shout them out about that if you have a leader that's been really inspirational you can shout them out that way so you can do your shout outs up down across other sideline sisters just good rapport what what you give out is what's going to come back to you okay I'm trying to go fast so this won't be super long um, as far as events go because um, I think that's about all that's on this checklist yes it's a lot um, when you're reaching out to people I would put little notes as to what their response back was back let's say you asked them for an event and they said oh you know what August is a really busy month my kids are going back to school um, hit me up in September okay write that in the comments because you're not gonna remember you're doing five of these a day 35 people and so you're not going to necessarily remember what people have said to you in the past and then on my calendar I will mark down follow up with uh, Lisa for an online event I'll do it for a month from now oh my gosh I keep getting these messages coming through it keeps freezing so anyway um, and as far as events go I'm looking at events completely differently when we first started doing events for unique we were the first ones doing them as far as I know or really doing them well they were very easy to get people were very into them well then everybody jumped on board so now everyone's doing them and it's kind of watered down the effects of the actual event a little bit but what it hasn't done is it is an amazing way to network and to build your network you should be adding new people into your VIP group for every event that you host whether you make a sale or don't make a sale it's a way of adding new friends on your Facebook wall it's a way of adding new people into your VIP group some of my very best customers that have been around for the last three years again I've told this story a million times have come from parties that had zero sales but yet there are customers that purchase from me almost every single month They'll purchase the kudos, the new splurge, the new lash products. Um, they've hosted events for me. We've talked about them joining, and some of them have, some of them haven't. But they can lead to all kinds of different things. And But basically, it's about networking and building your business. So as long as you feel good about what you're putting on as far as an event goes for people, I'm going to go back personally right now, being August 2017, I'm going to go back to doing five to seven day lash bash only. We have three amazing lash products, the Serum, the Epic, and the 3D. You can do an entire event on just those three products. And the way I look at it is, um, they're a little bit more of an impulse purchase for people. They will spend $24, $42, um, without really thinking about it too much. If you're focusing on just those three products, they're not going to get. It's not going to get watered down with all of the other products that we have 
um, in our arsenal right now because we have a lot of products. Um, but if you focus just on a lash bash, first of all, it's very easy to do if you make a couple of videos, if you have some great before and after pictures, um, you can easily get everything you need together for a party like that in probably a day or so. I would do a welcome video, kind of tell them what it's all about. I would spend maybe a day on each of the products and a day talking about them as a bundle product. Um, before and after pictures, application video on how to apply them, kind of what the difference is if they do just the Epic versus Epic with the 3D on it. Um, so if you just have a few things in your arsenal, you can have a five-day lash bash, no problem. People will buy into that. Most of my original customers came from purchasing the original 3D Fiber Mascara. And now they've become customers that buy the Kudos, that buy the skincare, that buy, because they have they trust me when they like a product, that builds your credibility. And I feel very, very confident that the Lash Serum and the new Epic Mascara are gonna be something that 99 point whatever uh, people are gonna love those products. So because they love them and you told them they would love them, that builds your credibility and they're gonna now come back to you and say, well, what do you suggest for this? Or they're gonna listen to what you're saying. Cream eyeshadow, amazing. And it kind of goes back to the fact that you need to try the products. Um, our business investment is $99. That is nothing when you consider what the payoff can be for you. But I do, and I don't feel like you have to house products at home for customers. You can place orders for customers if you want. They can place their own orders, however you want to handle that. However, I do feel like there are certain products that you need to have tried um, so that you can give your advice on those products. Some of the skincare items, obviously the mascara, the new mascara, the lash serum, the 3D fiber mascara. You need to know those back, backwards and forwards um, and you need to experience what they're like so that you can share your love for those products. I would say a cream shadow. You need to try a cream shadow. You need to try the different foundations so that you'll know kind of what foundation to recommend for people. You need to be the expert. So whatever that means for you, for me, I, I have to try the products. I have to see what they feel like so that I can then recommend them to somebody else. So I would say if you have not gotten the new mascara products, you need to get on it right now. Um, it's a business investment. You can write it off. It's going to pay you back in spades. I have sold more mascara and eye serum because I am in love with those two products and I've been able to share that love with the people that are listening to me talk on Facebook. Um, so get out there and get those if you don't have them. Um, and then try some of the other products. You get a lot of products in your presenter kit. You need to make sure you, you've tried all of those and then dabble in some of the others. You don't have to have every single color of every product on hand. You do not have to do that. But I would say you need to try a cream shadow, which obviously comes in our kit now, so that's not an issue. Maybe try a shadow palette, see how those goes, go on. The new eye primer is like glue for your eyeshadow. It's amazing. It works very, very differently from the primer we had to begin with. Uh, the setting powder, amazing. The new touch uh, powder when that comes back, amazing. Um, so you need to be the expert. You need to figure it out. You need to maybe ask in your VIP group, what do they want to see? Do they want to see a certain makeup look? Do they want you to talk about, I mean, ask them. That's an interactive post that would be great for your algorithms. And then you're going to see what your customers are interested in learning about. And so if it's a smoky eye and you don't really know how to do a smoky eye, then Google smoky eye and figure it out. None of us, most of us, we're not makeup artists. I'm still don't profess to be a makeup artist, but I will Google it and watch videos until I become confident enough to talk about it. Um, and then if you have any questions about anything, you can ask some of us that have been around for a little bit longer. But that's the 90 day run. We're gonna do this every single day, the tasks on this sheet. We're not gonna make any excuses for not getting it done. 15 minute increments a couple of times a day, you should be able to get everything done on this sheet, um, but make it a priority. Put it, um, put it in a manner that you can handle your family business, handle your regular business, but this becomes a daily priority. Like I don't go to bed at night till I get my messages done because it would be easy to just go to bed without doing the messages because I kind of leave the things that are not my favorite things to do till the end. So I figured out now that I need to kind of move those around and get a few of those done during the day. And then I know at night I'm going to do them before I go to bed. That's a commitment I've made to grow my business. And that's the only way you're going to grow your business. So if you have any questions, let me know. This is on the team page. You can print them out, make copies. I'm going to be including these in 
the welcome packets that we send out to um, anybody that joins our team that is serious about working the team. I send a welcome packet out and I'm going to include this in the welcome packet now. And then I'd like to do a live and just kind of talk about and answer questions. So once you watch this, um, download this so you understand what we're talking about. Watch the video and then we can, uh, you can reach out to me and we can either have a private phone conversation, a live conference call, however you, it, how, whatever works best for you. Okay, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, bye.